and welcome to another episode of Because Fuck You, That's Why. Uh, this week, uh, we took a break from our regular format to have a little bit of fun and reminisce of Aaron and my Saturday out to Toronto to see the Jay and Silent Bob Reboot Roadshow with a Q&A by Kevin Smith uh, after the show. We'll be back to our regular format next time. Why? Because fuck you, that's why. Who? I like that one. I'm taste that. Yeah. But definitely, like, when Steve had that lemon one, I'm yeah. to back. This is the second time. I like the smell of it. Like, um, <coughs> I, I, I was told, Steve, when we, were, when we were in Toronto, we got to tell you all about our trip. Uh, oh, shit. Oh, I'm but, recording this, so this yeah. works out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah we we'll uh, do that. Just sure. Um, Extra. So, uh, I'm going to jump ahead. Uh, we'll, we'll come back to the Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go for it, man. But uh, be, before I forget, um, and the weed will make me forget. Yes, it um, is. The first time I could ever taste like a, a oh. flavor in weed was mm-hmm. on this trip. He gave me something. I can't remember what it was. Was it the gummy or was it the vape? No, it was a vape. We were walking in Toronto. Toronto. That was a high concentrated in or sativa because it had the energy. It wasn't yeah. like a knock you out drink. I didn't want that shit that night. Yeah. And I think it was. Is it raspberry? <sighs> it was definitely a berry type. I can't remember what kind it was though. It was definitely, it was a flavored one, though, yeah. but that, the guy recommended that one. All I remembered was, like, wow, this is the first flavored weed I've ever had. I'm like, no, you people have given you weed and said this is a different flavor, and I'm like, that's just fucking weed. Uh, but, like, this is the second time I've had that feeling. Mm-hmm. The first one was in Toronto when I smoked whatever the hell that was. Right, right. This time I'm like, oh, I can taste the lime. It, you know? Yep. Your palate is finally becoming awake. I don't know if they want to play that. Because I used to get the... um. When I switched to the regular tobacco vapes, I had a uh, cherry. Mm-hmm. One of them was like a cherry flavor. I could taste it. Yeah, it pretty, pretty predominant. So, but I mean, you know, you know, when you first start, like everything tastes the same. Like wine, yeah. wine was a big thing for me. I'm like, oh, until your palate matures until, and yeah, then until it changes. You get used to it, and you're like, oh, now I can detect it. Maybe I just haven't done. Well, it. Maybe, yeah. maybe I haven't done enough weed. Let's get on this. That might be it. Yeah. <laughs> so me neither. I gotta do some more too. So. Uh, so Saturday we we texted each other excitedly like yeah let's, let's get moving let's run and roll and pick you up ah you know we made jokes and this and that and everything uh, I gassed up my truck picked him up yep. and we Rode drove like two hours 12. to Canada yeah got to go to Canada which was freaking awesome zero trouble at the border because we were white. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, the border was really quick. Like they yeah. asked like three questions. Like both, where, where both times, going? both times, it was like super yeah. easy in and out. <coughs> you know, uh, no real issues. Thank heavens. Yeah. <laughs> um, Drive yeah. up wasn't. We went to Tim Hortons. Yeah, we stopped. We stopped at Tim Hortons in Canada. Was one of the first trust. things we did. Well, we also had the exchange. On yes. The way oh yeah, we had forward. the exchange because we needed cash. Uh, yeah, that was funny. I almost left my card in the machine there. <laughs> yeah. Lady was like, "Sir, sir," and I'm like, "I got my money. What's about?" <laughs> He's like, "It's fucking hysterical." Yeah. Like when me and Sarah are coming to Yumacon, mm-hmm. and we're driving through. We stopped Tim Hortons to get like just coffee and whatever, like a sandwich. And, and we ordered, like, we each got coffee, we each got, like, a donut or muffin or whatever. And then total came to whatever it was. Sarah handed him a 20, American. And then they gave us back, like, 21 something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He got us fucked up. Dude, yeah, the exchange rate was really good, too. Because yeah. I, I, I exchanged, like, 200 bucks because I knew I was going to go to the dispensary plus whatever for the weekend. Yeah. Or for the night, so... I got two hundred, and I got like two fifty something back, yeah. or two sixty. I was like, "Oh shit, all right." That's a I'm like, I can spend this. <laughs> yeah, it was a good deal. Mm-hmm. Um, so even though the prices of the, like Tim Horton stuff didn't change over there oh. in Canadian, oh. it's the same number as it would be in American. That bag. So I was like, yeah. <laughs> Oh. Yeah. Uh, they had a French toast bagel that Stevie just absolutely fell in love so with. So good, so good. Just cinnamon all over the damn thing, man. It just tastes like French toast. Like yeah. I, the first one I had at the first Tim Hortons, yes, there was multiples. Oh, <laughs> the first Tim Hortons, I got just regular cream cheese on that, uh, the French toast bagel, and then I, my black coffee with sugar because mm. you know just need energy. Yeah, I got a, a hot chocolate with caramel shot, and then uh, two cinnamon raisin bagels. Just my usual. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, it's, it's pretty much all I like on Tim Hortons menu, hey, to be honest. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, all their sandwiches have cheese. Fuck them. Um, <laughs> so I know yeah, I, you could. I, I, know I, could. <laughs> I don't want to inconvenience them yeah. for inconveniencing me. Yeah, Fuck I, them. I don't, I don't want to order and get home and find they, they didn't 
listen and there's still cheese. Hey, the bagels are good. Yeah. Anyway, regardless. <laughs> I did enjoy the bagels. So, uh, we've already forgotten. Once we recharged, yes. uh, we drove into Toronto. Mm-hmm. Uh, our first stop, naturally, was the dispensary. Yes. Quite naturally. Uh, CB dropped pretty much all of his money there. <laughs> Not like well, a, a, a good rid- amount. A ridiculous amount of money. I was like, holy so shit. So, they... It was, like, it was a like, cafe. Oh, the going to start dealing. He's going <laughs> to smuggle it in. This is a smuggling operation, and I'm the unwitting uh, accomplice. So, God damn it. I get into this place, and, you know, like, the, the, the windows of this building are covered in black plastic bags. <laughs> and it says cafe, and it's pointing in with, like, a green little pot leaf on cafe, it. Yeah. Just, just standing, just <laughs> sitting in the truck outside. I'm like, I really hope Stevie's not going to get shanked in there. <laughs> Dude, I open a door. No joke, it's a fucking nice cafe, like coffee cafe, biscuits and like biscotti and shit. And then you get up there and there's like a lady at a desk and whatnot. And she checks your ID to make sure you're old enough because there's recreation and medical yeah. there. And uh, she just checks it real quick and gives you like one of those little vibrating pager things like from a restaurant. You just chill or you can get a coffee or whatnot. You just wait and then you go in and their, stuff, their dispensary is pretty cheap. So I was able to get like a vape kit like it came with the cartridge which i got the sativa that the flavored sativa it came with a battery and uh a charger and the battery was already charged like not all the way but enough to use it right away if i wanted to mm-hmm. and that was like 70 bucks which is mad cheap and then i got oh i was like oh yeah i want to get a couple joints because i just want to smoke so i was like give me two house uh sativas just you know just something to smoke outside and he's like okay and they were like 20 bucks and then I was like, I need a thing of edibles. He's like, okay. I was like, you got a pack that has a bunch of little ones in it, just so I can pass them out if anybody at the show wants any, you know? Of course, of legal age. Um, so he shows me two different kinds, and one of them were bunnies. And I was like, ah, cool. But then he showed me their own in a tin. They were little bears, but it was like 10 of them in there or some mm-hmm. shit. I'm like, oh, shit, I'll take those, because they're like 35 milligrams each. Just give you a little bit of a hit. Mm-hmm. I was like, well, I'll take that. And he threw them both in there. Why don't you charge me for the tin, I think? You probably so. Yeah. But it was cool, man. I got all that stuff, and then... Came back out with this nice bag full of new goodies. A giant paper grocery bag. <laughs> yeah. And then we proceeded to get to the hotel. Yeah. Uh, we went to the hotel. I had gotten a, a room at the Bond Place Hotel. Now, um, just looking at it, just looking at the room in the pictures, I'm like, okay. It's like, you know, uh, two double beds, a reasonably sized room. Uh, turns out that picture was more zoomed in than I realized. Um, it was a really small room with two single beds. Oh, yeah. In, in, in my head, the scale of both the room and the beds had <laughs> widened to be reasonable. And then when we got there, we found eh, not so much. Both of us couldn't stand up at the same time in this room. <laughs> <laughs> that logically doesn't make any sense. <laughs> and yet somehow I feel it was true. <laughs> it was so fucking weird. It, it was, really was. It was, uh, yeah. It so, was... like, the drive up wasn't bad. The getting to the dispensary took a little bit because traffic started building up and it was construction. So we were like, oh, we just want to get there and get to the fucking hotel. <laughs> and we had traffic getting to the hotel and trying to find parking. It was like it was like 20 minutes oh. to, to get from uh, the dispensary to... Uh, to the hotel, and we probably could have made it there faster if we had walked. Yeah, for sure. After waiting ten minutes, mm-hmm. um, yeah, it was uh, it was brutal sitting in midday Toronto traffic downtown. Yeah. Like it was, it even was, a weekend. That's weird. I you know. Figure, yeah, everybody leaves. That's what we figured. Yeah. I was thinking you guys have a great time so, in because everyone's leaving the weekend. You're going. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So eventually, uh, I got I got down to. Uh, to park in front of the Bob Place Hotel. Mm-hmm. Went upstairs, checked out our room. Uh, <laughs> laughed. Laughed. <laughs> Got our shit ready. Felt sorry for myself. <laughs> Had a little bit of a tinkle because we'd been sitting in the truck for a couple hours. Yeah. And uh, then we were like, uh, what should we do now? And we were like, oh, let's just, let's just, there's a pizza place right down the street. Let's just walk to that. Mm-hmm. So uh, we walked to this place now called Blaze Pizza. Yes. Uh, which he thought was a good domain, obviously. <laughs> um, like, got to do it. So I walked in and I, I looked at the, 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 
venue and it was like oh they fire it right here right in front of you and it just real quick yeah they, they put those and it, they don't have sizes as i found when i ordered a large he's like oh no size uh, <laughs> it's all personal yeah. size i just got a, like a like a plain uh cheese pepperoni uh and i, I watched it put all the ingredients on on the, on the dough and like you, you literally watch them make the pizza right in front of you and mm-hmm. it doesn't take that long it took mm-hmm. like maybe it was 10 not minutes long. not at all yeah it was, it it was, was very very quick um and you know you get your pizza and uh, you, you get a drink or whatever and you just take it to the table and, yep. and you eat it up uh fresh from the oven uh and it was surprisingly good mm-hmm. like it was it was solid thin crust but real real nice it was yeah, crispy yeah, too yeah fucking brick oven yep flash fry, but... exactly yeah, I love that shit though. Uh, it has a nice crisp yeah. crunch to it. And they had uh, some cool drinks there. Oh yeah. Um, and they, I had they, the they had one. the standard like you know pop selections, but they also had <laughs> neither of us got pop. They had like a double lemonade machine. One was regular lemonade. The other one was like a raspberry fruit lemonade composite, mm. something like that. Um, and yours, the one you went to for, was the other ones. Now these weren't. <laughs> they were regular drinks. Yeah, they they, they weren't. Good, they, they weren't like. Um, yeah, mine were not. They weren't sweet. soft drinks. No, say. they were uh, like those mixed, like almost like a Loganberry like fountain drink thing. Soft, yeah. yeah. And uh, the one you got was was that? I want to say boysenberry, but that's wrong. It was, it was like some it. kind of dark berry. Yeah, and it was uh, not like sweet. Like it had a little bit of sugar to, or sweetness oh, to it, oh, so but it was like it was refreshing. That was my whole thing. It was like it, it was nice, you know, and not carbonated at all. So it was like perfect. Yeah. So uh, we finished up. We we refilled. Mm-hmm. Refills are free. Yep. And then we walked out. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, we, we started were... vaping. Oh, I started vaping like crazy. So yeah. yeah, and it was a little chilly out when we got out there. So I had my. I had a shirt on, my Smod Squad shirt, mm. then I had my hoodie on, and then I had my jersey over it because I had my hoodie on, yeah. and then I had my hat on. And we were like, well, you know, the theater's supposed to be close. Why don't we just walk from here? Yeah, and then we didn't want to park the truck because we're, uh, Aaron got the yeah. hotel close to the yeah. theater, so we were just yeah. going to park it for the night. Yeah. Don't have to worry about the car you know, or the truck. Yeah, it turns out my sense of space was all messed up that day because it was <laughs> not directly next to the theater. It was three miles away. <laughs> Uh, but it was early yeah it, so it wasn't too bad and it's like well okay. i swear i must have been baked out of my mind that day my, my uh, I just my sense of size was completely off and distance and all that shit so uh we said screw it let's walk we're warm enough it's you know he's, yep. he's wearing four layers i got three you know which you should be we're fine. good should i'm gonna be high in a couple seconds so it didn't matter we just ate so we're gonna be warmed mm-hmm. up by that and i'm like yeah you know it's it's not that cold it's you know. not that snowy either right let's let's just walk we get exactly. about three blocks and my hands cold from the drink and i threw it out I'm like fuck this <laughs> yeah bringing the drink along may have been a tax glare i didn't even have ice in it uh, <laughs> yeah i uh i did i wasn't cold per se but I, I was realizing that out of my nervousness, I just kept drinking from it, <laughs> and I had to pee pretty quickly. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Um, but we decided to keep walking a little ways, you mm-hmm. know, because we were we were making pretty good time. Yeah. And the first show started at six thirty, and the plan we, was to meet up with yeah. a couple people before we got before like while we're in line, smoke up. That's why I got the joints mm-hmm. for everybody. And we had an hour and a half. Mm-hmm and to to get there and it was three miles away i've done three mile walks in an hour before i was yeah. like hey, let's let's like we got this I, I have not done one in quite some time <laughs> uh, again tactical <laughs> error um, <laughs> so we're walking down uh downtown toronto uh it's getting colder because mm-hmm. naturally it's getting later uh we're getting colder <laughs> yeah uh and I'm old and fat, uh, and I eventually started to break down in the middle of public. Like, why, Steve? Why have you done this to me? I hate carrying your baby. Uh, so, <laughs> no, that didn't happen. But I did. Say, <laughs> it didn't you know happen. Yeah, it didn't we, should, we should we should stop in the next cool store we see. Yeah, because we've seen a couple. And to get warm because it's starting to snow a little. Yeah. So we stopped in a GameStop. We walked around for like maybe 10 minutes. Yeah, warmed up and looked at a couple of things. Saw that cool Batman game. Yeah, the yeah. Villains there's, there's one. the Talisman. Yeah. Batman Super Villains. Yeah, that was now, fucking bad. That was such a weird combination. I was like, is this Canada only? And <laughs> even, Talisman is like a like a, a, a RPG in a box, basically, if you're playing board right. games. 
Um, you just put a board out, you know, you roll, you move so many spaces, you get into a fight, you roll to complete it, you get XP, you get better weapons and stuff, yada, yada, yada. Uh, and it mixes somehow with Batman villains. Like, hmm. I'm like, it's Batman super villains. So I was like, uh, how is this going to work? So anyway, my, my mind was just kind of reeling from the idea of Batman super villain RPG in a box. <laughs> uh, but it exists. I, I resisted the per the, the so did I to buy actually because it. Uh, it was not like that it was like thirty nine dollars Canadian no it was a bit more than that was it yeah I was I was it was, was forty nine or fifty I think it may have been forty nine it was forty still fifty bucks Canadian is like what forty one American know. I can't do the exchange in my head it's somewhere around there it's not because yeah. yeah. it's buck for you now a dollar American gets you a dollar thirty something Canadian yeah because yeah. I always typed in I was like hmm, I got the money right now. No, I know. <laughs> so we waited until the chill left our bones, mm -hmm. and then we proceeded out again. Yep. And at that uh, point, we were three point something kilometers away. Yeah, we, we, we made. Uh, <laughs> it, was like, it, was, it was like five and a half when we started. Yeah. We made it probably about another another kilometer, maybe a kilometer and a half, maybe fifteen minutes, uh, and we were getting cold again. Yeah, it started uh, snowing like, more. Shit. Like, Call the fucking cab. Like it started yeah, well, flurrying. Yeah. <laughs> like uh, it was like we can't jump. Oh, so we stopped and we're like, oh man, it has been like 40 minutes and we're still, we're still like a, a good Bar. two <laughs> kilometers away maybe. Uh, and we got 40 minutes to get there <laughs> if we want to get there in time for the show at all, let alone meeting people and standing in line. Right. So uh, we stopped. We're like, let's just stop in the next store, period, whatever it is. Doesn't mm -hmm. matter. Uh, and so we came upon. We to go to the bathroom anyway. Yeah. We came upon a subway. Uh, I, you know, <laughs> not the way you think yeah <laughs> oh no no at the subway restaurant yeah uh, where they make sandwiches not not an underground subway choo choo train oh that's not uh, about coming on stuff <laughs> never mind okay <laughs> I want to come in your parmesan rosemary garlic bread right? how dare you bring up Jared again <laughs> uh <laughs> so yeah that's fun uh we sat in the subway yep dude was totally chill really yeah, cool. cool um he looked bored there's a sign on the on the bathroom that's saying you you must be a customer to use. So I was like I was like I'll just buy a whatever, and he's like what? And I'm like I'll take anything. It doesn't matter. I just need to go to the bathroom. And he's like no, just go ahead and use it, man. It's sweet. Yeah. Good dude. And I was thirsty anyway. Yeah, right. And I wound up buying shit. He wound up. Yeah, buying I was shit. high at that point, man. I was just like, I need fucking, I need something to eat. So I got that baked potato chips because I knew they were healthier. The restaurant. This is how you do it. Baked. <laughs> you, you you want people to spend money in your establishment? Uh, you know, tell them that it's a price to pay for the for the for the bathroom, but then have your employee say, "No, go ahead, you can use it." Yeah. Because that makes the people who just got a free bathroom <laughs> trip want to spend more money in your establishment. <laughs> it's true. Exactly what we wound up doing. I think I got a drink and some you know, cookie or something. I don't mm -hmm. remember. Uh, and so you got the chips and uh, the drink as well. Mm -hmm. So we recharged. We got we got almost as warm as we were when we left <laughs> the game uh, store. GameStop, yeah, yeah. Uh, but not quite because we were like, now we're under time constraints. We got to get there in a pretty big area. <laughs> it was so. EB Games, right? Uh, and it was it was a GameStop, or no, you're right. It, it was, was EB. EB Games. Yeah, it was EB Games, which I think is the same company anyway. But uh, yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter. but Canada. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it was Electronic Boutique, which is what GameStop mm -hmm. became. So yes, or other way around. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. So, uh, where we was left. yeah, we left Subway, yeah. uh, and uh, we were getting closer, uh, and I think like 10 minutes later, we turned a corner. Yes. Now, this is after this, the snow had been in, oh, her in our face a little bit, <laughs> and we were like, okay, we so he pulled, his, he pulled his hoodie down. I didn't have one. I, didn't I had my, jersey. my baseball cap on, too, my Joker one. So, so I, I just kind of kept, kept my head down, uh, and we turned a corner, and all of a sudden, the snow was really in our <laughs> Like, uh, I felt like I was getting pummeled. By, <laughs> yeah. by, so uh, we started really thinking, um, maybe we should get a cab or something. Like, the next cab, we, or no, we'll, we'll look at getting a car. Like yeah, yeah, we're, so. yeah we, we first said, let's, let's get a cab, but we at, by this point, we were going to part of town where they didn't frequent yeah they weren't, weren't uh, showing we, up anywhere we were we were like in the uh what would you call it like um not domestic but residential mm -hmm. yes yeah, uh, a little residential area between downtown proper and the arts district yes. i guess is probably where the theater is oh, the <laughs> yeah yeah. Kinda, yeah just uh, there's just a lot of uh, little apartments and little, yeah. little, little houses little places 
that they charge exorbitantly for anyway. Mm-hmm. Um, so uh, we're walking around down there, but it's like it's coming down. It's getting really annoying. It's getting even, worse, even, too. Even with your head down, it's like it's getting worse. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, I, I think I turned to CB, and I'm like, you know, we could make it, but, like, we should we should just get a, <laughs> we just get a lift. Yeah, so I downloaded the app. Uh, as I think I said Uber, actually. Yeah. And he was like, I don't have Uber. I'm like, no, I, I have Lyft. Uh, you can just download it. And I'll get you someone. So we found somebody on Lyft. Guy came out, picked us up. Was super sweet. Yeah, did that did that Uber slash Lyft thing where they immediately offer you gum. Oh my god, that was so funny. I was like, no, I'm good. <laughs> I, I, had str- gum. I had to struggle. Put LSD that. on it or some shit. I don't trust so, them. <laughs> anyway, it was just really funny, uh, and it made me think of it when we saw the movie later. Yeah, no, me uh, too. <laughs> I was like, that so awesome. uh, we eventually just get a lift. Uh, mm-hmm. Stevie's kind enough to pay for it. Uh, paid for both our lifts actually. Oh yeah. Um, well, you couldn't because well, your phone didn't work in Canada on only mine. Yeah, my phone was completely <laughs> shut down in Canada, which yeah. I did not remember happening, but it does, uh, which is nice. So no roaming charges for my boss. Uh, <laughs> I don't think he'd like that very much. No, sure he'd feel <laughs> fuck. Yeah. So. I don't care. Fuck you. Uh, <laughs> uh, so yeah, so I didn't have a working phone. Yep. Uh, which will lead into the struggles that come up later. Uh, so <laughs> we, we we take our lift to the theater, uh, mm-hmm. and there's a line forming. It's not too huge, but it's 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 an outside line, like not yeah. not inside the yeah. place. But there's... so uh, we're like, great, we're just still gonna be cold. At least we got to warm up a little bit for like a couple minutes. In the we car. got the rest, so we didn't work standing. Yeah, we for cold a little, for a, like, for a lift for like a. For like a, a one kilometer ride, like <laughs> no, it was more. It was it was a couple kilometers. You no, know, it was three minutes. So we were. I don't we care. Were, it was a couple kilometers. I'm yeah. taking my pride back already. Right. <laughs> See, there's no rescuing that shit. Uh, so, <laughs> so. Where are you going? Right there. <laughs> are you serious? Shut up. Drive me. <laughs> so you yeah. twenty bucks or not? Uh, he drove us there. Uh, so we start sitting in line. Uh, now, mind you. Uh, Stevie has a ticket to both the first and second show. Um, I only have a ticket for the second show, but uh, I was thinking that, you know, they would not have an issue with me just like sitting in the lobby, you know, and not actually going into the show. Um, Turns out that was not the case. Uh, (laughs) We tried to get in the building. Uh, They turned me away uh, because my ticket wasn't valid. It wasn't coming up uh, valid ticket for the show. Yeah, so, it's for the later show, not the yeah. early one. So I was like, all right, well, I, you know, I guess I'll just have to find a place. Like, I wasn't expecting them to not let me in. I was like, like at least into the building. You know? I guess I'll just have to find a place to chill out until the second show. So as, like, that's going on, I'm, I'm in contact with Stephen Griss, mm-hmm. who uh, I know through Twitter, the Kevin Smith thing, he does the Shecky song, Shecky Don't Like. Uh, he, he does a whole bunch of shit with Kevin. It's fucking mm-hmm. awesome. His stuff, his music's in the movie and stuff. Oh, sweet. Yeah, so I'm talking to him back and forth. We, I, we've never met face-to-face. I wanted to say, you know, because I love like, meeting the people on there. And that was yeah. one of my goals, to, just, to meet as many Kevin Smith people as I could. And we were back and forth talking. I'm like, yeah, dude, I'm by the front door, but my buddy couldn't get in because he didn't have a ticket to the first show. We, we just have tickets for the second show together. Mm-hmm. And he's like, holy shit, hold on. And the dude comes running up to me. He's like, here, take this, get him. And I, I was like, oh, shit. So I, was, I ran. I was like, thanks, man. I run out there. And I run down to where we came from, down the other way, and I didn't see you. I was like, fuck, how far did he get? And then I turned around, and I'm like, maybe he went the other way. So I just, like, out of luck, just turned back and went the other way. And that's when I saw you. I'm running at Aaron with this fucking cop ticket in my hand. <laughs> and I'm like, dude, let's go. I got you in. So, now, mind you, this very well could have been disastrous if Steve had gone the opposite direction. Uh, I would be wandering alone in a strange city, uh, not knowing... Like the back was the way you anything, went too. Unable to contact anyone because yeah, my was, phone didn't work. Yeah, because I couldn't call him or anything. So, I'm like, so, shit, yeah. I gotta find his ass. <laughs> so <laughs> he did eventually find me uh, and pull me back in. Uh, and this time I got in thanks to that VIP ticket. So uh, very, yeah. very big thank you to Steven. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I would have been fine. She said the person I talked to said there was Burger King just up the street. You but could have hung out there, but still. Having said that, <laughs> uh, it was it was still quite a relief to be able to get inside. So uh, and actually and actually stay and watch the movie this time. So big thanks to Stephen Grissom <laughs> for making that happen. That is huge. Thank you, sir. Uh, but if by a chance you end up listening to this, um, so um, yeah. So got the got to give Steve a big hug. Met his dad, which was awesome. And yeah. then 
Super uh, cool people. So he gave, us, he gave us comp tickets. So instead of sitting in the seats we were originally going to sit in, well, at least to where I was going to be, which was pretty far back in the orchestra section, mm-hmm. we ended Steve, up... Steve, where did we wind up sitting? We ended up going to the mezzanine on the upper <laughs> left. Oh, it's so close. We walk... It's so close. Like I was, I, it was so <laughs> funny. It was so <laughs> funny. I, I said, we're going up to the mezzanine. And Stevie goes, the mezzanine? He was really stoned. <laughs> yeah, he, he called it the Messina and then the Messina. And I'm like, I'm, I, so I deliberately just now set him up to say it. I wanted to hear how he'd butcher it. So yeah, so Stevie did not encountered the concept of a mezzanine before. I didn't know what the big words meant. We're in theater world. <laughs> like, mezzanine is Italian? I, I, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just basically like a small, thin balcony. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, but, so anyway. Yeah, so we said goodbye to Stephen and his dad, and they were going to go off and hang out wherever they were back in the back area, probably. So they, he got you better tickets than he had? No, no, no. He's in, like, probably backstage area. Oh, oh like, I didn't yeah, back. Back. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. no, no. He's, he's, Goddamn. No, he's, he's yes. working. Oh, there, absolutely right. Canadian. Yeah, right? Uh, that'd be awesome. <laughs> well, I'll just sit outside and so yeah, we go. We start walking over, and I'm like, I'm looking at the ticket, and I'm like, I don't know where the fuck these seats are, because I didn't know what the hell the word meant. <laughs> so I walk over, and these two people sitting by the stairs, and I'm like, Do you know where this is? And they're like, Yeah, it's up there. Oh, oh, you're one of the guests. You can sit wherever you want up there. So we're like, Okay, cool. What the like, special are these tickets Stephen got us? <laughs> so like, we got to sit up in like the upper left area of the stage, man. Like Kevin Smith, like. Right down there, like 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 this 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 like VIP area. Nice. Like just uh, I was like, and their snack stunned. bar was badass. They had wine, beer, and then like candy. Like the candy was awesome. I got four candy bars that night. <laughs> so was the eye candy. Oh my god! The girl serving the wine. She did that shit on purpose. Very free and open. In the front area, so the doors opening in front of her, the cold door. She's not wearing a bra. She's wearing a very thin white. Like lacy thing, so you can see everything, and then there's like freaking quarter size is sticking out like 10 millimeters. <laughs> and shit. I'm just like trying out the stare. I was like, Oh shit! And Aaron's like, Yes, and I still the whole time. Aaron's like looking at the snack bar, and I'm trying to look this way. <laughs> and I'm just like, Man, I really want one of those Jay and Silent Bob shirts, man. Those things are fucking awesome. Yeah, he's trying desperately not to look at this girl, and I'm like, I really want. Fuck it, I'm in a different country altogether. <laughs> I foresee no way that this could backfire on me so badly, so I just openly stared. I mean, I don't know. I I don't know. It might be sexist, but I like it's like if she's wearing that, she's she doing knows. it. She knows why. She knows. She's trying to get. There's no way she doesn't know. More, yeah. She got to know. It probably helps sell more wine because guys are like, hey. Yeah, I will go to this line instead. <laughs> um, but yeah, the then we he did like a little intro thing to the movie and then Jay did a, a little video intro thing because he unfortunately wasn't there for yeah. this half of the show. He missed his kid. I get it. Yeah. Makes sense. Um, and then we got to watch Jay and Silent Bob reboot. Yeah. Uh, Kevin introduced it first. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, it was like... Uh... It was like a 10 minute long bit. It wasn't, it wasn't too long, but I mean, he, was, he had a couple stories to tell. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it was really funny to me. It was as soon as he mentioned uh, Brian O'Halloran from Clerks, <laughs> the audience goes, Woo! <laughs> you know, people like losing their shit. Yeah. And, and Kevin starts talking about people going, Woo! You know, popping at like the mere mention of people's names. So then, like a few sentences later, he mentions Ben Affleck. The audience gives a, Woo! <laughs> and I just thought different. that was the funniest thing. I'm like, I wish I had recorded that so I could put it on the internet and tag Ben Affleck in it. <laughs> oh my god, that would have been great. Oh uh, shit! No, it was, it was just really funny. Affleck's uh, career destroyed by Brian Helen. <laughs> yes. Uh, so yeah, it was really funny. Um, Jason's movie, you got to see. Man, this is the movie. I did. Oh, you did see it? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, it was really good. Yeah. I, I love Yeah, that. I wanted to see that before I saw this. <laughs> yeah. Brian yeah. O'Halloran was good in that, too. Yes. Oh, yeah, very. Uh, anyway, so... <laughs> they changed his character so much. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, he's not playing Dante. He's playing Brian O'Hara- right. O'Halloran. So, yeah. It's yeah, it's different. different. <laughs> um, so, anyway, yeah. He, he gives a spiel. He talks a bunch, um, some stories. It was a lot of laughs. Mm-hmm. Um, he's gotten very good. 
Like uh, Kevin Smith yeah. is very, very good at uh, his his. I, I think this is like his brand of stand up. And it is. That, that's exactly like Carlin was his. He's, or, Carlin he's was just his fucking an idol excellent shit. storyteller. Yeah, like on uh, Pan- well, was Pandora Night, his stories will pop up every once in a while. Yeah, you know, talking about when he got Jay into uh, Green Arrow. Oh yeah, or whatever, whatever they tell him make who were there all the DC like shows. Supergirl and all yeah. that shit. Yeah, yeah. when he gets them into those, and shit, tell stories about them. They're fucking funny. Yeah, they yeah. are. So it, 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 it is a form, and he's always loved performing like that. Yeah, and he's yeah, you can tell because his beats are down it's like between like that show and the second show, dude. It's like holy shit. If you ever listen to Henry Rollins, spoken yeah, word. He is fucking brilliant. Yeah, like I like I like his music, but I'm definitely a fan of spoken word tours. Cause, oh, yeah. uh, me and Alan went and saw him in Allentown years, oh, years nice. ago. Plus, I had the CDs, and then you can find like lots of stuff on YouTube. And he's just an awesome fucking speaker. Like, he's one of those guys you can talk for a long time, and you never get tired of it. Like, I just wrap it up, you know. Come on, Hank. Yeah, hell yeah. Well, you'd be too. You'd be too afraid to. Like, Henry Rollins. <laughs> yeah. But he's such a down-to-earth guy. Like, he, like, yeah. He's like, I can take this guy. He's fucking awesome. Anyway. So, yeah. So, we were enjoying Kevin uh, speech flying. And then we went and got to watch the movie. Mm-hmm. Um, it's awesome. A stone out of our minds. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. I was a couple edibles. I, I, yeah. I wasn't, I wasn't completely stoned yet. I would get stoned later. Yes. Fun. Okay. So, yeah. um, <laughs> We watched the rest of the movie. Uh, we sang goodbye to Stephen Griss and his dad. Because mm-hmm. um, they were saying for the second uh, showing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but but we now both had tickets for the second one. Mm-hmm. So we're like, all right, let's, we'll just, uh, oh, and, crap, oh, they're, they're going to put us outside. Before okay, put us that, outside. Um, during the first showing, I've seen the movie a couple times now. So I left in the middle of the first movie to go smoke a couple times. Did I? Yeah. I How do you not remember? Oh, you were oh, messed up the second movie. That was why. The so, movie, yeah, the I, went, I went out and... Uh, smoked a joint with some random dude outside during the first movie. And then, uh, or no, no, I vaped. I went out to vape. And the security guard, I met the dude. He's like, oh, yeah, dude, go ahead. Here's your, you got your stamp in that. I know, I'll remember you. I remember you said the jersey on. Yeah. I have my Golgotha it's, jersey. It's hard to forget a man wearing a poop on his front. Yeah, I, said, I wore my captain's Golgotha <laughs> jersey for the night. So then, so he, dude saw me. I went out and I vaped for like five minutes. And then I, he just let me back in the door. He let me out of it. So I didn't stand any lines and shit. Yeah. So I got back in. And then, when we came out of the movie, they started yeah. ushering people. Yeah, they were ushering out. people out, and we realized, oh crap, we're going to be standing outside. <laughs> and it's going to be even colder, and we're going to have to wait until the second show's ready. Yes, and uh, there's already a long ass line. And were we talking about it, and somebody overheard us? Because um, I think it just kind of came up organically. We didn't ask them. Well, what happened? We you know, were okay. we went off to the side, so we were waiting for the bathroom. To, so we we stay in here as long as we can, get as warm yeah. as we can first. There's a long ass line for the men's room. We'll wait till that dies down. We'll go to the bathroom. Then we'll go outside, you know, get as much time inside. So at that time, I'm also trying to message uh, Amy because she's showing up soon. And then Josh Ruff because I wanted to, because we said we we're going to meet up and so we finally meet face to face and shit. So I'm trying to get a hold of both of them. I can't get a hold of Josh. And like we get ready to go back outside and we said something. I think we were talking to Steve. Oh, Stephen Chris, that's when he said goodbye, I think. And we are doing something, and we had our tickets in our hand, our comp tickets. Yeah. And then and the, the security, security guard, guard that I was... Over, he overheard yeah, us. That we were like, oh, crap, we got to go back to hell. We got tickets for the second show. Yeah. And that was the one, the guy who let me in and out a couple of times to yeah. go smoke. He, and he pushed us to the VIP section, moved the rope. He's like, you guys stay in here and don't leave the, this area, the VIP section. And he oh, closed the rope off. <laughs> and I'm like... I ain't fucking cool. <laughs> so we chilled in the VIP area yeah. uh, until everybody got ushered out. <laughs> yeah. And then we just watched as people with tickets got ushered in. And it was and funny because like, I see, no. I hear it. I, the text of Amy is, where are you? And then I look outside and she's there in line, like, waving all cold. And I'm just like, I'm not going out there. I'll have to go back in that line. <laughs> yeah, it was funny. Just point to the donut roll. Mm-hmm. Oh god, it was so freaking awesome! So everybody eventually did get. I finally met not chasing Amy. <laughs> uh, just delightful. I've I've known of her for some years. I think. Yeah. Since yeah. You guys first Forever. connected on the, since you guys first connected online, and you mentioned her at some point. Mm-hmm. Um, and she's just as cool as I imagined. Oh my god, she's uh, awesome! Yeah. Um, her boy's uh, pretty pretty cool too. Oh, uh, fuck, Darren, yeah. what's yep. his name? Yeah, he's a solid dude. Uh, they were cool. They were, we got to hang out by the bar. Area. A really good conversation with them, even though we were stoned. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, because I gave them. Uh, I had uh, some the edibles, the little bunny ones, and I haven't 
Oh, no, I busted in the one for the first movie. Right. And then I was like, hey, do you guys like edibles? And they're like, yeah. I'm like, here you go. Here's a bag of edibles. Because I had the other tin still. And I'm like, I don't need all this. I got to go back over the border tomorrow. I can't bring it with me. Got the cure. So, oh, I just, yeah, you know, I'm like, I can't have it. So I was like, all right, so here's a bag for you guys. And I think I gave one to you at that point, the bunnies. Because I gave one to you and I then did, I gave I it to them. did not have that. I had one of the bears. Oh, you had a bear. Okay, that later. was later then. So I gave them the bag. They had a gummy each or whatever. And then I was like, well, we're talking, we're talking. And I'm like, well, I'm going to go and smoke an actual joint because I had two on me. Uh, and I've already seen the beginning of this show, so I'm not too worried. So I left to go outside and smoke. I was going to try to get back in. And I met some dude out there. And I just smoked. He was about to smoke a joint. I'm like, no, dude, fucking smoke this. I can't bring it back with me. So we shared that. <laughs> and then I we got almost down to like maybe it was like a quarter left. I'm like, all right, I'm going to run back inside. And then I left, went back in. The security, same security guard dude let me back in the, that other door. And then I went to find you. Or no, I went down to the seats. Yeah, because that's we had the seat, the tickets for yeah. the second one. We went to our actual seats because mm-hmm. we were like seventh fucking row or some shit. Yeah, the the tickets we purchased were again really close. Yeah, so it worked now out. Not in the mezzanine. Mm-hmm. Oh, we, I wish we'd just gone to it. Um, <laughs> so yeah, we wound up getting our seats, and they were in the middle of the row. Mm-hmm. And um, I, I'm 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 a large person. I accept this. Uh, but the amount of space I had uh, made me feel like I was in a coffin. Like, I, yeah, it was, it was very. They're not forgetting. <laughs> uh, it, I think they. I don't know if those were movable. The ones down on the floor. I don't the know. ones in the ones in the mezzanine definitely were, but I don't know about the ones down below. Right. Um, but they were the very similar seats, uh, and it was just so compact compared to the mezzanine where yeah. we could splay out. Mm-hmm. Um, Especially the older theaters. Like I've mm-hmm. gone to Shays before, and they. I haven't updated it recently, and those are tiny seats for my big ass. Yeah, <laughs> it's hard. So we're watching the movie. Uh, so yeah, we're, we're watching the movie. Oh, I gave you a day edible at this point. Yeah, you bear. gave me an edible. I told you to eat uh, half early of in the it. movie. I ate half of it, and just because we weren't sure was the most blazed I had been the entire trip. <laughs> I did not know. <laughs> As I said, half half. <laughs> I wrapped up the other half and put it in a candy wrapper, shoved it in my pocket. <laughs> Uh, and we uh, we watched the movie again, although it was increasingly difficult to pay attention because my leg was cramping up like a motherfucker. <laughs> I had just been walking 40 minutes <laughs> in like cold, and, and I, I'd gotten a, a cramp along the way. Mm-hmm. So now I'm scrunched up into this seat that has me trying to stretch out my legs at different angles and it's just not working <laughs> and finally it, although i hated to do it i just i just turned to stevie and i said i gotta go and so i just got up and i, I made the, unfortunately the other two people next to us get out of their seats so they yeah. let me out so, yeah so he so left they missed right. part of the movie and i feel bad about that i uh, i my, under my i'm mean, gonna watch the movie I'm like okay it's either one of two things either the edible kicked in and he's getting sick or he's really <laughs> gotta go to the bathroom so it's one of two things so I'll let him go for like 20 minutes or so. He's incorrect on both counts. So that's what I figured. So I was like, I'm just going to sit here for like 20 minutes. Dude, he thought you went to the Mezzanine. <laughs> so, uh, I did go to the <laughs> So, oh, did. so uh, I, I was like, I walked back to just, and I was just kind of sitting against the wall. And I noticed that people were going up and down into the Mezzanine. Nobody was checking anything. Nobody gave a shit. I'm like, all right, fuck it. So I just went up the stairs and sat on a much more comfortable seat on the right side of the stage overlooking so Kevin. The opposite of where we were. <laughs> yeah, pretty much the, the opposite other. from where we were the first time. So now I'm getting the second angle. Um, and uh, and uh, I just watched from there. And I occasionally kept an eye on Stevie, like hoping I could like, wave to him or something. Uh, I eventually just uh, gave up. <laughs> like uh, so um movie ends kevin comes out and starts doing his q a and i think this is where you got up to look for me yeah so i had, I had taken one last look uh, as kevin started the q a because i figured if Steve was going to move it was going to be at that point but he was still in his seat at this point so i just i gave up and i turned back and <laughs> paid attention to kevin uh and then some point after that stevie yeah. got up so I, I went, went looking for I went looking for her. I hadn't been back so since, was like, like halfway through the movie. Yeah, so I went to the bathrooms first, obviously. Didn't see him in there. Then I went to the VIP area in the back behind the bar. Weren't there. And I was like, all right. So I went to the other side of the theater, checked out there. And then I went outside for a minute. And went, he's not out here. And I'm like, well, hopefully he's not gone. We'll find out. Because, again, we have no way to contact yes. each other. And at that point, I was uh, trying to get a hold of Josh again. Right. 
So then I, I came back in. I was like, well, fuck, I'll go. I'll check back. So I'm walking back to the seat, and that's when you caught me. Yeah. So we went back up. I started looking seat. for him and found him immediately. <laughs> so I think I think we know who's better at hide and seek. Um, me, I died. <laughs> or wait a minute. Yeah, Damn. I no. you. <laughs> you can unite. You put that eyes on the seat. You're right. Fuck. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, so uh, we did reconnect, thankfully. Mm-hmm. Um, and we watched the rest of the, 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 the Q&A in the, in the right mezzanine. Yep. And uh, I just chilled. And it, it, I oh, was God. blazed out of my mind. Edible had kicked in by this point. And I was like, oh, hey, okay. no pain. Yeah. I was just paying attention, hanging on uh, Kevin's every word. Um <laughs> Because it was so entertaining to me, uh, and his second show it was cool. Was better than his first show. And his, his first show, um, I mean, he's 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 always funny no matter what he does. But but he, um, it seemed almost I want to say artificial. The first show was more scripted. I it, think it was, it was more like, formulaic. Like I know you cannot determine what the questions are. They're going to be there. But well, you can here. sway. But he seems to find ways to curb himself into the story he wants to tell. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and, uh, and the, the first show, he was all about that. Yeah. Uh, the second show, I'm guessing his edible kicked in. <laughs> he was way more relaxed during the Q and A. Uh, at first I thought he seemed tired and then I was like, nah, he's, he's, probably just he's stoned. totally chill. And he was in Toronto, uh, uh yesterday or Sunday too. Cause I saw pictures of him still out there. So I think yeah. he, he knew he was chilling there for the night. Yeah, he was he was uh, he was relaxed. Mm-hmm. Uh, he was telling some good stories. He told some great stories about George Carlin. Oh uh, yeah, um, they were like, fucking good. Oh man, I could listen to him talk about George Carlin or Stan Lee all day. Mm-hmm. Uh, anyway, and we did. Um, Kevin mm-hmm. went on long <laughs> Real to long. nobody's surprise. Um, like three a.m. or two. Uh, it was, yeah, the show ended at two a.m. We got back to our rooms by like two thirty yeah. or something like that. Um, so yeah, that was that was fun, uh, and we just chilled and listened to Kevin. He had like a sixty minute time limit. He went thirty minutes over that. Yeah, because uh, because this uh, stagehand Liv Roush had a, a sign up said wrap it up. Sure, I'm sure was there, out there. I mean, I was pretty high. But sitting was there <laughs> for like thirty minutes, just <laughs> holding the sign, and yeah. she's not even paying attention now. She's got it between her legs, she's like doing something on her hand, fingernails, or whatnot. <laughs> it was really funny. I'm like, yeah, she knows how he's going to be. She's been on every stop of this point. <laughs> yep. So, uh, yeah, so second second show was way more chillax, and it just seemed way more enjoyable for that reason. Yeah. Um, and then uh, and then Kevin called it a night, and everybody left. And uh, We hung out up top. We hung out we a bit longer because Stevie was really trying to reach Dr. Josh Rausch, mm-hmm. um, who he had not been able to meet up with uh, halfway through the show. So, yeah. But he really wanted to meet him. Uh, so we hung out waiting in the theater area for a while, even as everybody emptied out and there was just workers left resetting the stage and whatnot. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, we were mm-hmm. hanging out, hanging out, and it's just not really getting anywhere. Uh, so we decided to head out to the lobby and look. Yeah. And we were, well, we were told yeah. Liv was out by the merchandise. Yeah. So go talk to Liv. So I went over to, we went over to the table and I saw Liv there and I introduced myself. I'm like, hey, uh, I'm Midnight Smoke. She's like, <laughs> and she recognized who I was by that because I talked to her on Twitter and stuff. And Josh, she's like, oh, Josh will be out here in a little bit. He's just packing up, blah, blah, blah. Just wait here. She's just getting her stuff ready. Mm-hmm. And then a little bit after that, Josh showed up and then. Uh, we got finally got to meet the man, give him a hug, and talked for a bit, and then poor guy was sick. But yeah, how he, he offered you the chance not to do it. Yeah, I'm like, no, it's only time. I mean, unless I can get to freaking L.A. or something, which yeah. I'm hoping for next year, but we'll see. He was a seriously cool dude. Uh, yeah, you hear him on every almost every episode of Hollywood Bad One, <laughs> so I knew what his voice would sound like before I even spoke. I was like, yes. <laughs> That's so cool. I felt bad though because I I had I had practiced in my head saying you know I, I love your work on Hollywood Babylon. Thank you so much for that. And uh, and uh, I was gonna say I'm really looking forward to that Michael Parks documentary he's working on. Uh-huh. Uh But I, it just completely skipped my mind because I was blazed. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I was so sound. I completely forgot. That's okay. It was fine. I'm pretty sure he understood. I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, Wait, and uh, Stevie and him had it off. Yeah, uh, freaking to the awesome. Point where Stevie gave him all his leftover weed. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> hey man, I can't. I I'm I'm going across the border tomorrow morning, man. I'm gonna hold my vape for tonight, so that way Aaron and I can hit it. Cause, but here's a can of edibles, man. Here's another joint. So whatever you want to do, you can hand it off, give it to whatever. I don't care. It's whatever. It's legal here. Do what you need. <laughs> and then he gave fun. me another big hug, and we talked. And then he hooked us up with some merch. <laughs> Well, he gave us free t-shirts. Yeah, I was like, oh, shit, man. And then he said... Uh, uh, Blunt man be chronic shirt. Hell yeah. So awesome. he's got one of those and told me to get a hold of him whenever I'm in L.A. for a show. And I was like, all right. Oh, yeah. So Super we can cool, go man. and... Very, very cool, dude. Yeah. It was freaking awesome, man. And uh, we caught another lift back to the hotel. Yeah, because... Fuck no way. Right walk in. We learned our lesson. Well, <laughs> it's a bit more expensive this time. It's to be foot of the building. Eh, it's again. all good. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, we, we made it back to the to the hotel without incident. Thank yeah. Um, and then I went on a where my jacket room. was, yeah, which I asked <laughs> when we were at the pizza place. I'm like, do you want to go back for your jacket? And, and he I'm said, like, no, nah, that's warm enough. Are Holy you sure? I, I have a hoodie jersey. and a hat, man, and a jersey, so I'm like, I'm safe, you know. Everybody, everybody <laughs> knows jerseys are known for their warm <laughs> no it's just i'm really little and the emblem's huge and it covers my entire <laughs> chest <laughs> so anyway yeah that was, that was fun mm-hmm. uh we tried to sleep yeah that didn't work and couldn't because those beds were too oh. fucking tiny yeah they were fucking uncomfortable i think even my i think even my subconscious self was like you know you're gonna fall off any second yeah before. right you were, you were coming close because <laughs> I, I went back downstairs because i was like i need to get i need to make use of this fucking vape that i spent <laughs> 70 goddamn dollars on so i went to the i went down to the lobby as soon as there was a machine a vending machine because i didn't want to go out by myself there and i was too no, mm-hmm. I, I don't want to leave this hotel room now. And they're like, yeah, it's on eighth floor or something. So I went to that one. Then I got my drink. Then I came back down to the lobby, went up to the front where you parked the truck. And I just like sat out there for like 10 minutes, just sucking on the damn thing. I'm like, oh, this one's going to hurt. <laughs> like I just sat out there and I'm like, okay, drink. Okay. Wow. Okay. Hold on. And I was standing for a minute. Wait, I'm like. I could probably hit it two or three more times. <laughs> Do that. And I'm like, all right, fuck this. Where's my key? And it took me a minute, got the key, got inside. I'm like, now I can go to bed. <laughs> we were so sure that we were going to be fine because we had both been stoned for the last like yeah. portion of the day. Like we were positive. We should just, we were just be just like, bam. Because we were walking the whole time. Like, and I was so tired. I was just ready to just phew, go mm-hmm. on. But it just did not happen. I just tossed and turned the whole night. Sucked balls. Like at one point, it was like four a.m. Or no, no, I think we got the. I got the bed at four. I got up at five or six. And I was like, I'm gonna take a shower. <laughs> I'm just like, I, I was like, oh man, I'm gonna take a shit. And I took it, and I was, oh no, I didn't even take a shit. I was like, I just need to take a shower. <laughs> I was like, I don't know why. I I don't feel I don't feel clean right now. <laughs> so I went and took a shower. I'm like, what this? Fucking THC. <laughs> Pretty much. I just I thought it was the bed, man. I was like, fuck it. <laughs> I was like, I just. I think I got changed. I'm like, fuck it. I'm just fucking around on my tablet. Out, coming out your pores. <laughs> Why'd you grab my tablet? I was just going to play on that. And then you were tossing and turning like crazy. You just got up. <laughs> yeah, it eventually rolled around to like 8, 8.30. And I said, fuck this. Yeah, because we were going to get up at like 10, get out at 11, get home at like 1 or 2, you know? No. Take our time getting home. All the same. Uh, blessing in disguise. Yes. It works out that way. Holy shit, because we left. And it was... We left early, yeah, and then we left and we went to Tim Hortons, and then while we were there, and I also got the uh, French toast bagel, but this time just butter, not cream cheese, because mm-hmm. I wanted to see what the difference was. Mm-hmm. Still yummy. <laughs> All the yummy. So, yeah, while we're in Tim Hortons, <laughs> the weather turns bad. <laughs> like, the, the, uh, the slight, <laughs> tiny snowflakes that were falling before have uh, quintupled in size. <laughs> Uh, and they're like dinner plates falling through the sky. <laughs> like Jesus Christ! And I'm like we better get out of here before it gets too bad. And yeah, we didn't get that far, man. From yeah. Toronto, we just got outside of Toronto and then stopped at Hotel Hortons. Yeah, and then boom, mm-hmm. check out weird. Um, so we we continued our trip, but uh, we were like, uh, it was really starting to get nasty when when we were approaching the border. And then, like, once we got through the border, like, pff, gone. Like, nothing. <laughs> it was, like, awesome. Like, all the weather just turned off. And, like, we're good. And, that was like, nice. You got out of the zone. Congratulations. 
Uh, and, uh, and yeah, so I drove Stevie home. Didn't even give me a kiss, son of a bitch. Um, <laughs> but he did cover the lifts. So I guess I can. I guess I can. I guess I can. I should have put out. That's my bad. Anyway, we stayed in his bed the whole night. What the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. We should have pushed them together. <laughs> we should have. Was left the yes. What the fuck happened in here? I could be a little spoon. Dude, fine. no joke. It looked like a fucking room that was attached to like a grown up room, like for the kids. Oh, That's what it looked like. It looked like a, a room for like two little kids. Yeah, there was no room for anything. In there. Nothing. Like, like, there, there was no bathroom door. It was one of those sliding doors that didn't really close. Yeah, the, the door to the bathroom didn't close. It was like, it was, it was it was sliding and it, it bounced off the door. It was on rollers. I mean, we were in front of the, it was the most ridiculous thing I'd ever, like, like holy shit. It was like college dormitory. Dude, was, the yeah, I know. Fucking lunch. I think it was. I wouldn't be surprised. The staff was cool. I'll give them that. Yeah, the staff were the staff. They didn't cool. give a fuck. The room, the room was clean. Yes, the staff were it was. Cool. The, you know, the hallways were cool. The, the TV, there was a lot of channels on the TV. Like, no. Everything was fine, the except size. the actual size of the room and the beds did not <laughs> go well for us. And I think I'm just never going to never gonna, gonna get a room unless it's got a king in it from now on. <laughs> like, just fuck this noise. Hey, the queen's fine. <sighs> hey. hey. So that is <laughs> our entire trip. Mm -hmm. to, to The one thing I regret that we didn't get to do... Um, oh, was yeah. we, we were going to stop by a place called Snakes and Lattes. Oh, um, I ever seen yeah. that board game cafe. Um, um, it it would have been it would have been so cool, but we, I had been setting aside time in my mind to go there, but I, because I was planning to drive. But then once we saw the traffic in downtown, we were like, we can't, we can't drive, so we can't. We won't. No. We won't and then the dispensary took it. longer than I thought it would. I didn't think it was going to yeah. be as exp as busy as it was. So okay. another reason to go back to Toronto. Yeah. yeah, I guess. Next time, Kevin Smith's in the area. Yeah, definitely. Maybe I'll come our Although side I heard time. something about the, the 10th anniversary, which I don't think we're going to be able to make because that's like scheduled right smack dab in the middle of our, our uh, trip to Vegas, unfortunately. Yeah, sadly. <laughs> the weekend of the 10th, yes. Oh, I yeah. the 10th anniversary. Oh, yeah. oh uh, I don't know what the 10th anniversary of it was. I can't remember. Was it uh, Smart Squad, maybe, or something? Uh, like that? Okay, was, I really can't remember. Amy would know. Yeah, Amy. Amy was the one who was bringing it up. So um, Not I hope Amy. she would know. <laughs> yes, that is her name. <laughs> uh, yeah. So uh, so that was a good time. Oh, that's cool. Dude, that's I'm cool. baked. I don't even know where to go. <laughs> There's nowhere left to go. We covered what we meant to cover. Sweet. That's all we were supposed to talk about. Was our trip? We we're filling Jorge in like he was. To bring him into our, you know, trip, as it were. I get to live vicariously through you. Yay! <laughs> I wish you were there, Just man. went off walking. Cold. Oh, yeah, that yeah, probably would have sucked. Was, well, it didn't well, suck entirely, because yeah. downtown's really very It pretty. was pretty. There was tons of theater. Oh, yeah, I got to try to be Holy shit. Was awesome. It was amazing. And the people are amazing, too. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah, I love that. I couldn't, I couldn't like, believe it. I'm like, I'm looking God. around, like, thinking, like, I wish this is what America would be like. <laughs> you know? <laughs> we kept commenting, I'm like, I live here. Shit. <laughs> this wouldn't be hard. <laughs> you know, other cities like the, um, the last two times me and Bob went down to Pittsburgh for uh, Magic the Gathering uh, Grand Prix finals or whatever. Yeah. Like just hanging around downtown Pittsburgh was fucking awesome. Because we were down there, we walked from the Pittsburgh Convention Center to some like well known like local restaurant, uh, the, the Miners or the Mine or something. It's like this restaurant has been there for like 100 years. Oh, shit. It's kind of a hole in the wall, but it's like where all the coal miners and shit would go. When their shift was up at 6 a.m. Oh, okay. So it was like, you know, they'd go around like 4, 5, 6 o'clock in the morning, drink beers, eat food, and they go home and crash and whatever. Yeah. So it's like a local land. Yeah, like the end of the day you go yeah. there. Yeah, they're yeah, known yeah. for their, I think it's just called the Pittsburgh. I think it's oh, a, um, is it corned beef or roast beef sandwich with coleslaw and french fries on it. Oh, that sounds fucking good. It was really good, yeah. I oh, mean, my God. It sounds like good. Other stuff, yeah, like, you know, me and Bob and a bunch of like all the magic guys we hang out with because we met up. Like, you guys met up with Amy and whoever you knew. Yeah. You know, we, we didn't go down with, but there's a lot of guys that, from the Buffalo area. You know, go down. So met, we met up, up there. with them. Yeah. You know, like, oh, we know about this place. We walked. I mean, I don't know how far it was. It was like a couple city blocks. It was a little bit of a hike. Right. And and we're kind of going through the, the quasi-shady part of uh, Pittsburgh. <laughs> so like, oh, I couldn't get better. <laughs> like, oh, there was shit. one... Uh, 
I'm walking by like a, a nightclub because inside you can see like people sitting out front smoking, mm. like just cigarettes. Right. Like that, that. Right. Yeah, I fucking know. <laughs> but they're sitting out front smoking. You can see in the door they had like you know the flashing lights, like the rave lights or whatever. Yeah. The building is an old church. <laughs> oh, there's, sweet. There's no way it was not a church at one point. It's a fucking church. Oh, that's awesome. And I'm just here, like, well, okay. So there's like, a rave on his church at fucking midnight. <laughs> You know, yes. in downtown Pittsburgh, they're all fucking keep going. That's the church I want to go yeah. to. That's fucking awesome, right? Dropping LSD and shit. Like, ah, I'm like, ah, I'm ah, 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 like the city was just like oh, it was just different, right? From what we're used it's to, it's different life. But it was man. So nice and clean, and just fucking, just something different. It didn't have that huge city feel, right? But we were in down fucking town, <laughs> like we were in the shadow of the PMC building. Yeah, like we you were there, the but it's like a little community. We thing. were right there. the The convention was right on river. Oh, you can shit. see the three river. You can see the. Pittsburgh Steelers Stadium is Three River Stadium. Yeah. Where the three rivers converge. Oh, cool. So, like, literally, you know, you could, like, fucking throw a rock and you'd be in the water. All the bridges and shit. <laughs> no but it's just fucking cool. Like, yeah, it's a downtown city. It's, it's it's nice. You know, I mean, I think one was the only, the only, like, question part of Pittsburgh was, like, the outskirts mm. when we tried to stop at Popeye's the Bomb. Oh, yeah. When it was closing, because they ran a chicken or something like that. Yeah. That neighborhood was a little suspect. But well, anywhere there. there's a Popeye's and runs out of chicken, it's suspect. If it's even there. <laughs> like, where did the chicken go? It's all gone, yeah. man. So it's funny, we got, like, the first time, the first time we were in Pittsburgh, we stopped this one because it was GPS. It was a little mm. Garmin thing. Oh, yeah. So it gives us a location. We go, all right, it's not too far. We go find it. And it's in, like, excuse me, it's not like a plaza, but it's, like, off, it's kind of like a big mall parking lot, but it's like a strip mall. So it's like okay. off the off the road, right? So like it's a little community. So there's not like you know, once you get in the parking lot, you're just cruising around the parking in lot. that area. Yeah, and there's like a you know a Best Buy and a Home Depot and all these like bigger box stores. So we get there and like it's like a decent time. Lights are off. Like there's no way. <laughs> so we get out. We're looking. And I can't remember like, the signs said they should have been open. They weren't. Chairs on tables. No sign of anybody. No cars. No nothing. <laughs> All right, I think this one's closed. So we start heading back. We stop at a Sonic. Uh, just outside oh, of this. Sonic. Yeah, something's oh, awesome. Oh, dude, this was. Well, this is funny. So just me and Bob this time. This is the first time I went to Pittsburgh. Mm-hmm. Just me and Bob went down. Right. So we go to the Popeyes. It's, it's closed. Like done, done, closed. Yeah. <laughs> so we finally like we figure out. We look for. We're just trying to find shit that we don't have around here. Right. Which was a Sonic at the time. So, all right, fuck it, we'll stop the Sonic. We stop there, and that's when we get like, now, this is Sonic. Sonic's pretty cheap, right? Mm-hmm. Between me and Bob, we spent about $45. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> the, 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 I had a full meal there and a dessert for 12 bucks. <laughs> we spent 45 and two of us. Oh my God. I think, I think Bob is was nuts. Only, well, he's the one that got like, Two different milkshakes and like all desserts and he's yeah, like, oh, nuts. that's I mean, all How does he I, not have diabetes? Yeah, yeah. I wasn't. I'm not saying. I'm not saying I was much better, but so. <laughs> I know. Um, yeah. Why did you get diabetes yeah. and he didn't? Like, the entire dash of my car was just full of food. Oh my god! Like, they had like several orders of chili cheese tots and hot dogs and milkshakes and <laughs> fucking rice. Right. Fuck, that sounds good, man. Chili that's cheese so tots. So oh, fuck, it's been so long. Yeah. So we're fucking. We eat. And we're like, all right, we'll save this for later. You know, we eat all of us. Right, yeah. So we're driving, and the fucking itis hits because I'm sitting there driving. I'm <laughs> yep. like, I gotta pull over, dude. I gotta take a nap. And like, all right, cool, me too. So I'm just the rest down, just crash with the flowers. Put the seat back. Yeah. Fuck it, I don't give a shit. Done that shit, man. <laughs> when my dad and I drove back from Utah after I got out of the service, man, he flew to Utah. Mm-hmm. I, I bought a yeah. CRV because we. I just had a. I had a Cavalier at the time. I couldn't fit all that shit, me and my dad in there. Yeah. So, yeah, he flew back. He flew to Utah, and then we just drove straight. And at one point, like, halfway through the U.S., we're like, all right, dude, let's get, like, an hour or two sleep. Because we would just pull off somewhere and just switch. Yeah. And just go. And at one we were just like, no, we just got to stop. Yeah. Because it was, like, every three hours. And I was smoking, like, hardcore at that point. I'm just like, stay away. <laughs> stay away. <laughs> <laughs> the window down and shit, and fucking just like nothing but darkness. I'm like, this sucks. Yeah, I don't know what you did, yeah, but when I went to Arizona, like it was really scary because driving through the the Panhandle, Texas, there, yeah, that little short spot. Yep. 
And because you're out in the fucking country, it's at night, it's pitch black. And I'm like, oh, there was a time of the year, I'm like, shit. I had the local radio on. Oh, no. <laughs> you know, I'm like, there's a tornado. <laughs> I don't know. There's no lights. I'm going through the bumfuck. You're going through a tornado. Whoa, you're gone. I'm like, I don't know if I'm going to hear a fucking air siren for a tornado or, or what. So, I mean, it's pitch black. Yeah, that's how it was. I like, drove down. It was like that. Oh, man. This is nuts. <sighs> well, that's cool. I'm glad you guys had a great time. Uh, yeah, it was a fantastic weekend. It was always fun to go on explore. Fuck it, whatever. It was funny just because like a couple of the, like traffic, like a couple of things went wrong, and then all of a sudden shit would just like bam. Here's some cop tickets. Here, here's some special. Seats. Yeah, really. It's here, you can meet these people, and here is like, oh shit, here's here a shirt. You both fake the hell. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck, man? You, you, you all should've rock. Gone, you should have gone to the, the Shogun Chinese restaurant. <laughs> it's like a chain place in Canada. Yeah. Oh, I've been there before. It's just fucking good too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you like it. There's tons of shit. Like, yeah. Everything. There's like two rooms full of shit for food. <laughs> and then they have like six dining rooms. It's fucking huge. Christ. You spend a day there. Yeah. Everybody brings handhelds we can play with each other. Yeah. By handhelds, I mean video games. Not penises? By play with each other, I mean play I mean, with yeah, each other. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I'm down for whatever. Yeah. I offered in the room, he wouldn't do anything. <laughs> Some of it. Gotta be in a committed fucking relationship. Sorry. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, so yeah. Yeah, that was our trip, man. Our trip.